Hello again, and welcome back to another FMOD and Unity and technically Oculus tutorial. Today, we're going to be looking at downloading Oculus or the Oculus Spatializer plugins uh, for FMOD and Unity uh, so we can make our audios one 3D and two compatible with uh, Oculus Rift or any other uh, VR devices that support the Oculus uh, plugins. So hopefully this will be really helpful for any of you who are looking into using Unity and FMOD to create any software using you know those devices. Hopefully that'll be really you know helpful to get set up. Uh, we're literally just going to look at setting it up today so that we're all you know on the same level uh, and we know where to start. And then maybe in the future we'll look at using them a bit more and how we can have some fun with them. So thank you very much to uh, Vishwas1211 who uh, asked me to cover this. Uh, I can kind of see why he asked me. It's not very clear how you kind of use this online. Well, there's a few places you can look. The web, the Oculus website is a great place to start, but it can be a little bit confusing at times. Uh, cool. So let's jump straight into this. Now, as you can see, I am on the Oculus website, and this is the page you're going to want to come to. I'll stick this. Uh, I'll stick the link for this page in the description. Uh, or what, the first thing you're going to want to do is download uh, the file on this website. And this is going to basically contain everything we need to get the plugins set up in FMOD and also help Unity recognize those plugins so it doesn't freak out as soon as we start using 3D audio and it doesn't know where these plugins are coming from. Uh, cool, so make sure you've got that downloaded. Uh, I'm also going to stick a link in the description for anyone using uh, Mac uh, wants to do this on their Unity and FMOD. It's more or less the same. There's just obviously different places you're going to want to drag files into and different folders and stuff. Uh, which they do have on their website. They do let you know which folders are different. Uh, but for the majority, it's very much the same from my understanding. If it does turn out to be completely different, maybe I'll do another video for the Mac users. But yeah, cool. So let's uh, jump straight into it, if I haven't said that already. <laughs> uh, let's come over to my downloads folders. I've already got it downloaded. This is the package I downloaded. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is right click it and extract all. You're going to want to extract this zip file so we can get all the juicy data out of it, basically. And once you've done that, you can either leave it in your downloads folder as long as you know it's there and you know, because we're going to be referencing uh, this package quite a bit. So make sure you know where this folder is or where you've left it. You can either leave it in your downloads folder or you can maybe put it in your documents like I did. Uh, I created a new folder for it so I knew where to find it. Uh, and yeah, you could do the same. Hopefully that will make it easier for you. I just wanted to organize mine a bit so I knew where it was. Uh, and what we're going to want to do is open the folder. This is the one I created. Open the folder you downloaded. This is the extracted version. Uh, go to Fboard. And first thing we want to do is either go to Windows 32 or Windows 64 bit, depending obviously whether or not you're using 32 or 64. I'm using 64, so 64 it is. And this is the plugin right here. This is what we're going to want to stick into Fboard. So once you've found that, let me stick it over here. We're going to want to open up a new file explorer uh, and we're going to want to find a place to drag that uh, plugin into essentially. So what we're going to do is go to this PC. I'm going to uh, go to my hard drive. I'm going to go to program files. This is the program files for 64-bit users. 32-bit users, you're going to want to use this times 86 uh, folder. I'm going to open this. I'm going to go FMOD Sound System, FMOD Studio, uh, Plugins. Now, you can drag uh, the plugin straight into here. But what I found is that when uh, FMOD ever opened this folder to search for the plugin, it would give me error messages saying that this JavaScript file and this JavaScript file wasn't compatible, I'm guessing, because they're not DLL you know, files. But that's fine. If you don't want those error messages to keep popping up, you can do what I did and just create a new folder in here. I mean, you, know, you guys know how to make folders. So create a new folder, call it whatever you want. I call it Oculus Plugin, and you drag the plugin into here, like I've obviously done, you can see here. Once you've done that, we're now going to want to jump into FMOD. As you can see, I've already got a little uh, project set up to show you guys how to use it. In fact, pretend you didn't see that, because <laughs> that's obviously the plugin. Pretend you didn't see that, and I'll explain uh, how we can set that up. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you've opened up FMOD is go Edit, Preferences, Assets, uh, and you want to go come down to here to Plugins folder. You're going to want to browse, and you want to go find that folder we just dragged the plugin into. So again, we're going to go this PC, uh, Hard Drive, Program Files, FMOD Sound System, FMOD Studio, Plugins, uh, and then even the Plugins folder if you've dragged it into there, or your own folder, and you click Select Folder. Okay, nice and easy. 
close that, and then we're going to want to create uh, a three D event. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is delete this spatializer uh, fmod asset or plugin or whatever you call it. This is the one that comes from fmod. We don't want that. We want to use the uh, Oculus one. So delete that. Then you're going to want to basically go add effect, plugin effects, and click Oculus spatializer. And this is basically what you will use to create your 3D sounds or turn any mono or stereo sounds uh, into 3D. Uh, also, what you're going to want to make sure you do is come over here to the input meter uh, for, by the way, this is all on the master track of your event. Come to the input meter, right click it and just make sure it's on mono. Stereo or surround, I don't think it will work for or it will just sound really weird. You'll get like some weird delays. So just make sure that's on mono. And that is essentially what you need to do in FMOD. Let me delete this event because this is the one I'm going to be using. As you can see, I've already got it set up. Oh, I forgot to delete it. <laughs> Let's get the plugin back on. So I'll call it Spatializer. Uh, and as you can hear, I've just got a few footsteps uh, set up, which is what I'm gonna to use to test the audio. This is gonna basically play in Unity and it should sound 3D. So once you've got all that done, you can go file, save and build. Assuming this is a project you know, you've already got set up or you're starting a new project, that'd probably be the best thing to do. I'd recommend start a new project just to make sure this all works. Uh, and then obviously you go save and build. Uh, you may also find that you have to close uh, FMOD and open it again to actually find the plugins. Uh, or it might just work for you. I can't quite remember. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what we need to do in FMOD. So let's jump over to Unity and see what we have to do there. So as you can see, I've got a little scene set up. Uh, I've got a cube. The cube, I've got a studio event emitter on. And this is going to be playing our event. Uh, the main camera's got our studio listener. So this will be the player and where the player will be listening from. I've also created my own little script called Orbit. This is going to cause the cube to orbit around the uh, camera or the listener or the player. Uh, so this should hopefully help us test test to see that our audio is 3D or not. But uh, we enough ignore all that because we haven't even set up the we haven't even set it up in Unity to recognize the plugins, which is what we need to do first. So what we're going to do is go assets. We are then going to go to import package and go custom package. Once we've done that. We're then going to want to go to the files we downloaded from Oculus right at the beginning. Uh, remember where you left them, either in your downloads page or in your documents or any, anywhere else like I did. Uh, go to your file, go dig through all the Oculus uh, files, so uh, Oculus Audio Spatializer FMOD. And now we're going to want to go to Unity, and you should have this, Oculus Spatializer FMOD Unity, uh, which is a Unity package file. Just open that. Uh, you should be prompted with another page that's asking you what it wants to import or what data from that package it wants to import. Just make sure you import it all. Then you're going to want to go to FMOD up here, assuming you've already integrated FMOD and Unity together, which I cover on another video, so you can check that out if you haven't done that already. You're going to want to go to Edit Settings, and you want to go to Add Plugin here, or Under Plugins. And then under Plugin 1, you're going to want to type this in exactly, exact, yeah, exactly as you see it. Oculus Spatializer FMOD. Uh, otherwise, it won't. you won't hear any audio, essentially. So make sure you type that in. And that is everything you need to do. So let's quickly test that this works. So as this cube rotates around the camera, you should hear... Oh, and I forgot to mention the most obvious part of this all. Make sure you're wearing headphones. Uh, luckily, the Oculus Rift uses uh, stereo headphones and all the 3D effects are done with software and plugins to you know, em emulate essentially real 3D environments. Uh, and it doesn't have, it doesn't use crazy 5.1 or 7.1 speakers, which is a lucky for us. So essentially you can get any old earphones you want and you should feel this effect. So make sure you've got them uh, into your computer and hopefully you should hear as this cube rotates, the audio rotates around your head with it. Cool, and with that, I think we're all done here. So thank you once again to Vishwas for recommending me this. Uh, hopefully in the future we can do some more stuff with the Oculus plugins and some more 3D effects. I actually have some fun with it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah, especially there's one plugin I really want to try. If I quickly come back into FMOD, if I go plugins and go uh, Oculus Spatial Reverb, from what I understand, this reverb can basically take an environment you've built in Unity and create a sort of 3D appropriate reverb for that setting. I'm not sure how. We'll have to find out if, if that's even true. I may have misread something, but that'd be really cool to mess around with and see how that works. Um, 
yeah, so thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this has been useful to anyone who's you know wants to look into using the Oculus plugins. Terribly sorry for my raspy voice. Uh, I need to go rest it now. Maybe I'll have some nice soup. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yeah. Uh, and always, as always, let me know if there's anything uh, 3D, not 3D, anything audio related you want to you want me to talk about, whether or not it's got to do with Unity or FMOD or Oculus or even just make, messing around with assets and creating our own sound effects. Uh, cool. So I've been Henry Scott, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.